Hello, this is Andy Asphalt with Reno Asphalt and Striping Company. How is everyone out there? I get asked quite frequently exactly how does a striping company paint or put down the handicapped signs, which we call them stalls, the handicapped stalls. And as most all of us know, if you get caught parking in one of those handicapped stalls, it could be anywhere from two to a thousand dollars in violation. So our clients often request that we re-maintenance them twice a year so they look nice, blue, fresh, and they are easy to see, or easy on the eyes as we say. The first step in uh, is properly laying down the handicapped stenciling we tape or outline the blue paint, which is the square. Once it's outlined, then we go ahead and repaint the entire surface, painting over the old little white handicap guy there. Once the blue paint dries, then we come back, lay down the stencil for the handicap man in his little chair, and then the parking lot striping painter comes by and shoots with the gun. Now here in Reno, handicapped parking stalls are all over the place and a business owner or a property management company can be fined through city ordinance workers if they are not properly marked or easily visible to the public. If you have any questions, and I hope that that helps answer some of those questions concerning handicapped parking lot stenciling, visit our website at www.renoasphaltandstriping.com.